Now, over all the years that I have been biking, especially mountain biking, I have preferred to not wear sunglasses. And this is due to several reasons. The number one reason is because of going in and out of the woods, the glasses would be either too dark or too light, whether I'm in the woods or out of the woods. There wasn't a good transition between those two different situations. And the second reason is because the lenses would tend to fog up after just a few moments of just stopping and chatting with your friends. And the third reason is comfort. Most of the sunglasses I've bought over the years have been cheap Walmart or Walgreens sunglasses, and they are definitely not designed for comfort. However, lately I've been a little bit more concerned about protecting my eyes, not only from sun and UV rays, but also from branches and debris. So this is where Magic Shine comes into the picture. That's right, the same company that makes premium headlights and taillights for your bike also makes cycling specific sunglasses. Now Magic Shine calls their cycling specific sunglasses the Windbreaker, and they offer three different lens combinations with multiple different colors that you can choose from. Magic Shine gave me the opportunity to test out each one of their lenses that they offer for their Windbreaker series. And I'm gonna tell you the differences between all three and which one I prefer for which situations. Now, all three different types of sunglasses that they offer share some commonalities, but they have some unique characteristics that are specific to whatever situation you're gonna be currently riding in. Now, the size and the dimensions are the exact same across all three models. Now, all three provide UV 400 protection for your eyes and a super light frame at only 29 grams. You're gonna barely feel these glasses on your head. Now the frames are made from TR90 plus TPR, so they're gonna be super strong and durable. My favorite common trait that they share across the board is the four vent system. This vent system is gonna prevent it from fogging up whenever you stop on your ride. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at each one of the models individually. The first one up is the classic model. Now the classic lens will give you everything listed above and it's gonna be ideal for normal lighting conditions. So on a day that's not super bright or super overcast, this lens is gonna be absolutely dialed. Now the Classic is gonna be my go-to on the majority of my road and gravel rides. And those type of rides are rides where you're out in the open most of the day. Now the Classic model does come with five different colors and the lenses match those colors, so it keeps it nice and stylish. You can pick up the Classic model for only $49.99. Now let's take a look at the polarized lens. These things have all the same features as the Classic, but they come equipped with a high quality polarized lens. Now the big benefit of a polarized lens is it's gonna provide anti-glare. And not only that, it's gonna help with visual clarity. Now the polarized lens should be used primarily when it's brightest out. So if you're riding in the middle of the day when the sun is shining down really heavily, this is gonna be the lens that you're gonna wanna go with. So on the brightest days, whenever I'm out riding on the roads, I definitely prefer the polarized lens. Now the polarized lens does come in fewer colors. You can either pick from gold or black. I personally have the gold lens and I think they look absolutely awesome. You can pick these up for $74.99. Now let's take a look at one of the most unique pairs that they offer in their lineup and that's the photochromatic. Now the windbreaker photochromatic means that it's actually gonna be able to change from nearly clear to shaded. These lenses can go from what they call a Cat 1 to Cat 3 rating. Now, what I like to use the photochromatic lenses for are whenever I'm out mountain biking. Because whenever you go in and out of the woods, you're going from a light situation to a dark situation. And these photochromatic lenses will adapt perfectly for those type of situations. Now, one thing I found with these is that you can actually ride with these at night. Since they go almost completely clear, they're gonna protect your eyes, but not block any of your vision. Now the Windbreaker Photochromatic, you can get in multiple colors also. And these will set you back $59.99. Now after testing out all three different versions that you can choose from, I enjoy each one for a specific reason. And if I were to just buy one pair, I would probably choose the Photochromatic. Being that I mountain bike more than I road bike or gravel bike, I definitely think that I would get a lot more benefit out of these. The fact that the lenses can change from practically clear to shaded is extremely beneficial to a rider like myself. And then the other pair that I would choose if I were to pick a second pair would be the polarized lens. These things come in really handy on those super bright days and it really does make a huge difference with that polarized anti-glare technology. And overall, the price that they're asking for on any of these windbreaker sunglasses is a complete bargain. Compared to some of the other major brands out there, 
I think if you're looking for some cycling specific sunglasses, that you should definitely check out these Magic Shine windbreakers. And if you guys wanna pick up a pair for yourself or just check them out, I'll put some links below. Make sure you click the like button, leave me a comment below. Have you guys ever tried the Magic Shine windbreaker sunglasses? And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. But as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.